Hey everyone, it's your boy Kyle, back at another video. If you're new to the channel, I make video content to video games, movies, and just entertainment. And the whole purpose of this channel is to kind of give you a daily dose of positivity, make you happy, and just brighten up your day. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to react to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I've actually reacted to the first three movies so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. I kind of have a feeling I might be getting my Harry Potter glasses at the very end <laughs> and my robe because <laughs> uh, I'm just um, loving the story so far. I think it's incredible. Just a quick recap of what happened in uh, Azkaban is um, basically uh, we found out, you know, Sirius Black is uh, Harry Potter's godfather which is crazy, but Harry now has, you know, some good-hearted family out there. I uh, cannot stand the Dursleys. They are just dirt. They're trash <laughs> to me. I do not like them. I don't know if anyone likes them, uh, but that's kind of their, maybe their purpose of the character is to be uh, these really mean people. Uh, maybe because they're obviously jealous that they are muggles and they can't do any magic and, you know, uh, Harry can and all this stuff. Um, also, you know, uh, uh, the whole reason, you know, Sirius Black got um, sentenced to Azkaban for about 12, 13 years is because he got framed um, in being the person that sold Harry's parents to Lord Voldemort, but it was actually Peter Pettigrew and that did it, uh, uh, which sucked that, you know, he got framed for this crime that he did not do, uh, but uh, for about 12, 13 years, Peter Pettigrew uh, transfigured himself into a rat, and he was Ron's rat for that long. Um, but it kind of secret truth came out that he did it. Uh, we also got to do uh, see Remus, uh, and that they were all kind of friends with you know Harry's parents, and uh, grew up together, which is really really sweet. Um, but uh, also, we got to see Dementors and uh, the really powerful creatures that kind of uh, suck people's souls out. And they're mainly kind of finding really bad wizards if they kind of, um, you know, uh, escape from Azkaban. And, you know, because uh, that's not a good thing, you know, they're locked up for a reason. Uh, but yeah, before we get started with this video, just let you know that this video is for entertainment purposes only and that you're watching the short uh, edited reaction to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So if you're interested in watching my full length version of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire as well as the um, first three movies, you can pop on over to my Patreon as well as you get early access to my videos and you'll know, participate in polls to kind of decide what I should watch next on my YouTube channel and I would just love to have you. Lastly, if you are, uh, you know, into video games, I am streaming live on Twitch starting tonight at 7.30. Uh, we're kind of doing Final Fantasy, uh, but we're going to do a lot of different games. But if you just want to come, hang out, chit-chat uh, with me, maybe play online together, I would love to have you as well. I think it'd be so much, it'd be really, really great. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. <laughs> um, this is really weird. Oh. Uh, I feel like we recognized that snake before. But they're in a graveyard. What the hell? Burning. <laughs> really intense. Oh no, Tom Riddle. <gasps> I feel like we've seen this in Prison of Azkaban. You know, when like Hermione and Ron were talking, and she's like, oh, look at that abandoned house that over there. It's like really like haunted or something like that. I'm, I'm paraphrasing what she's saying, but. I feel like that's the same house, which is, that place is near Hogwarts. If I, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I feel like it's in Ho near Hogwarts. So he might, Tom Riddle or, or Voldemort is kind of near that vicinity of the area, which is crazy. Ah! Like zero maintenance in this building at all. Like, see all the cobwebs? Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, Peter Pettigrew's here. Lord Voldemort's here. If we were to do it without the boy, no, <gasps> the boy is everything. It cannot be done. Who's this guy? Him, and it will be done exactly as I said. <gasps> I will not disappoint you, my lord. Gather <gasps> all the snakes cops. there. Send them aside. <sighs> <sighs> The guy's like, oh shit, what am I doing? A 
Kill them. Hurry. Like, I remember in Sorcerer's Stone when uh, we, like, well, Harry defeated uh, Voldemort when he was kind of taking in the body of Professor Quirrell, and then um, Dumbledore's like, oh, uh, telling Harry, like, there's other, like, forms he can take. Like, he's not dead yet. I wonder how he does that. Like, because obviously this is a new form of him. So I'm interested to see hear like anyone in the comments that can tell me like how did he just shape himself into his new form because like last time we kind of technically saw him was in Sorcerer's Stone and he kind of uh was partially alive and he was eating the unicorn's blood to kind of uh stay alive because he was super vulnerable because um you know he transferred all his power most of his powers to Harry um like gave him the scar um but he didn't die but um his essence is out there, so I wonder how he kind of formed up again. Like, I don't know, I'm dying to, to know that. Wake up! Wake up, Donald! <laughs> oh, Bloody hell. This strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. This way. <laughs> Whoa! Quidditch game? We'll put it this way. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Ah, uh, I hate Lucia's mouth way. He's so annoying. Oh! Yeah. Who is that? He's the best seeker in the world! Huh. That's so sick. Stop! Stop it! It's not the Irish. Get back to the pokey, everybody, and stick together! Uh oh. What the hell? Oh, it's that guy from the before. More, more! Um. What the hell? Stupid boy! That's my son! The hell? It's Crouch, you can't. Touch it alive! You've been discovered at the scene of the crime! Crime? Barty, they're what? just kids! What crime? It's the dark mark, Harry, it's his mark. Lord Voldemort's mark. Voldemort? Two pumpkin pasties, please. Oh! Harry likes her! She's a cutie. <laughs> Anything sweet for you, dear? Yeah, he's looking at it. Oh, no, I'm not hungry. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. Mm-hmm. What you saw at the World Cup and the dream. Yeah, you need to talk to Sirius about it. He probably has more uh, intel. Whoa! Um... So cool. The Triwizard Tournament. Huh. Now, for those of you who do not know, the Triwizard Tournament brings together three schools for a series of magical contests. Lovely ladies of the Bow Batten's Academy of Magic. Ooh. And the Madame Maxine. <laughs> Rod. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's cool. Please greet the proud sons of Dumbstrang and the High Master Igor Kakarov. Whoa. Oh, it's Victor Crumb! Oh, it's him! Victor Crumb! Whoa! Who the hell is that? <laughs> A 
I'd like to say a few words. Eternal glory. That is what awaits the student who wins the Triwizard Tournament. What the hell? It's Mad-Eye Moody. Ah. Oh. Alistair Moody? The Aura? Aura? Dark Wizard Catcher. Oh. I have to sell an and feel thanks to him. champion is Victor Crump! Yeah! Oh, I had a feeling it would be Victor. Dumbledore asked me, end of story, goodbye, the end. <laughs> Love it. Any questions? Love his sass, his savagery. First, which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? My, my dad did tell me about one. Huh? The Imperious Curse. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. your father would know all about that. Whoa! Imperial! Empty bites! <laughs> She's lethal. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> How do we sort out the liars? Yeah. There's the um the Cruciatus curse. Correct! Correct! Come, come, Crucio! <gasps> you could give us the last one. Whoa. Killing curse. Oh my god, this Ron, such a fanboy. Victor Crown. Oh, he looked at her. He likes her. He li the champion for bow battens is Freya Delacour. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Whoa. But in the end, only one will go down in history. Only one will hoist this chalice of champions, this vessel of victory, the Triwizard Cup. Whoa. Uh-oh. What? How? Harry Potter. <gasps> Harry, you put your name in the cupboard of the fire. No, sir. You asked one of the oldest students to do it for you? No, sir. You're absolutely sure? Yes, yes sir. And of course he is lying. The hell he is. The god of the fire is an exceptionally powerful magical object. Only an exceptionally powerful confundus charm could have hoodwinked it. Magic <gasps> way beyond the talents of a fourth year. You seem to have given this a fair bit of thought. Medi. It was once my job to think as dark wizards do, Karkaroff. Perhaps you remember. It doesn't help. Oh, us, sir. did he, did Medi Moody catch Made that guy before? Ron is in a sulky mood How now. Did you do it? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Might have let your best friend know though. Let you know what? You know bloody well what. I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. Hmm. Is that the letter from Sirius? Harry, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig. Ever since the World Cup, the Ministry has been intercepting more and more hours, and she's too easily recognized. We need to talk, Harry, face to face. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night, and make sure you're alone. I want to hear more serious Black. Serious. I love him. I don't have much time, Harry, so let me get straight to it. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No. Shh. I had to ask. No. Tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Vortabor, but who was the third man in the room? I don't know. You didn't hear a name? No. Um, Voldemort was giving him my job today. Something important. And what was that? He wanted me. Hmm. I don't know why, but he was going to use this man to get to me. But, I mean, it was only a dream, right? Yes. It's just a dream. Yeah, just Cap. a dream. The Death Eaters of the World Cup, your name rising from that goblet. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. 
What are you saying? I'm saying the devils are inside the walls. Igor Karkaroff. It was a Death Eater. And no one, no one stops being a Death Eater. Yeah. There's Barty Crouch, Heart of Stone, sent his own son to Azkaban. Hmm. Oh, oh Hagrid's got his hair done. What's with the flower? Hagrid, have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. Ah. Uh, They're on a date. That's so cute. I thought perhaps you had. Dragons! That's the first task! Whoa, dragons? It's the only... first task? Bet! Place your bet! Bet! Taken! Crawling back. Took you long enough. I wasn't the only one who thought you'd done it. Everyone was saying it behind your back. Yeah, Rock, right, you're supposed to Brilliant. defend me. You're my best friend. Makes me feel loads better. At least I warned you about the dragons. Hagrid <laughs> warned me about the dragons. No, 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 I did. No, no I don't remember. Don't I should have to tell you that Seamus told me that Bavardi told Dean that Hagrid was looking for you. Seamus never actually told me anything, so it was, it was really me all along. Mum sent me a dress. <laughs> well, it does match your eyes. Is there a bonnet? Aha! Oh my goodness. Close down, Harry. Ginny, these must be for you. You're not wearing that, it's ghastly. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> They're not for Ginny. For you. They're for you. <laughs> <laughs> dress robes. Dress robes? For what? The Yule Ball. Oh, for the tradition dance. of the Triwizard Tournament. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Oh my goodness, what alliteration. Try saying that five times. <laughs> um, to dance your right hand on my waist. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, all the girls. <gasps> he looked at Hermione again. He likes her. Rod, oh my goodness. Oh, girl. <laughs> You're a girl. Come with one of Come on. It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. <sighs> I wonder if it's Victor. <gasps> so, Harry. Aww. <laughs> 
watch yourself on the stairs. It's a bit icy at the top. Okay, thanks. Harry, ask her to the dance. Ask her. Cho? <gasps> yes? Um. Yes? Yes, Harry? Well, I just wondered if you... <laughs> I just wondered if maybe you want to go to the ball with me. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. Um, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. <gasps> she going to say yes? Oh, um... Oh. Harry, I'm, I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Harry, you waited too late. Hi, Hi Harry. Harry. See, I've always liked looking at them from behind. Ask those two twins out. They're they're cute. Oh. Hey. Oh my goodness, that's the ugliest thing ever. <laughs> I brought it. Harry looks handsome. What are those? What are those? My what are those? Well, they're all right. No lace, no dodgy little collar. Hermione looks great. She looks beautiful. Yeah, she does. I'm goosebumps, guys. She looks so beautiful. Take my waist. What? Now. Oh my god. Harry's dancing is awkward. <laughs> Aw, oh, Dumbledore and Preston gonna go. It's so cute. Ginny and Neville. Oh, so cute. Why not? In a knot. He's a damn strong. You're fraternizing with the enemy. The enemy? Who was it wanting his autograph? Besides, the yeah. whole point of the tournament is international magical cooperation. To make friends. I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. <gasps> Ron just ruined it. What an ass. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Well, th th that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. Harry. Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. <laughs> they get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! Yeah, what the hell, Ron? Raven. Look, I realize I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. Forget about it. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. Exactly. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bath. Huh. Ah, yeah. uh, morning we're not. Martin. Oh, hello, hello. Hi, Harry. <laughs> Long time. No see. <laughs> and I, oh. I was circling <laughs> Abbott, Myrtle, did you say try putting it in the water? <laughs> Miss Neville. Absolutely. For an hour. Most likely. Most likely? Well, there is some debate among herbologists as to the effects of fresh water versus salt water. You're but... telling me this now? What's the matter with him? I don't know. I can't see him. Oh, my God. I've killed Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh yeah, Harry, you ready to kick some ass? Oh no! Those are the, the trophies. I like how they're helping each other out now, that's cool. But 
she's my friend Prabhu. Flo's, uh, looks like her sister or something. Cause she, like, uh, forfeited. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Use, like, the mobulus spell or something. Yes. Oh no. Send you. Oh yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Talk to the winners, Mr. Digger. Charm. Our seeing as Mr. Potter would have finished first, had it not yeah. been for his determination to rescue not only Mr. Weasley, but the others as well. We've agreed. Reward him second place. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. To lose one's family. Never whole again, are we? No. Still, life goes on. And here we stand. Whoa. He knows something's up. And they say I'm mad. <gasps> oh no. What? He's dead now. The hell? It's a memory or something he's being replayed. <laughs> he's the headmaster of the guy on the, of the ship you school thing. You have been thingy. brought from Azkaban at your own request. Wait, wait, please, please, I have more. What about Snape? Severus Snape. Well, the council is very what? much aware Snape? I've given evidence on this matter. Severus Snape was indeed a Death Eater. And prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us at great personal risk. Ah. Today he's no more a Death Severus Eater than Snape I am. Yes? I know for a fact this person took part in the capture. And by means of the Cruciatus Curse, <gasps> torture of the Auror Frank Longbottom and his wife! Name! Give me the wretched name! Bertie Crouch! Junior. His son. <laughs> Hello, father. You are no son of mine. Oh my goodness. And we saw him in the beginning. Too, um, when he was with Lord Voldemort in the vision. Curiosity is not a sin, Harry. But you should exercise caution. And at the Quidditch tournament, he was coming towards it's Harry. That's you. him. Very useful if, like me, you find your mind a wee bit stretched. Mr. Crouch's son. What exactly happened to him? He was sent to Azkaban. Destroyed Barty to do it. Mm, I don't he had think no he's choice. in Azkaban the right now. was overwhelming. Why do you ask? It's just that I... So I'm in my vision. I had a dream about him. It was in the summer, before school. In the dream, I was in a house, and Voldemort was there. Only, he wasn't quite human. And Wormtail was there too, and Mr. Crouch's son. Have there been others like this dream? Yes. Always the same one. Hmm. Sir, these dreams, 
what I see. You don't think it's actually happening, do you? I think so. Just serum. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his darkest secrets. The use of it on a student is regrettably forbidden. However, should you ever steal from my personal stores again, my hand might just slip over your morning pumpkin juice. I haven't stolen anything. Don't lie <laughs> to me. Earlier today, Professor Moody placed the Thai Wizard Cup deep within the maze. In the maze. You'll find no dragons or creatures of the deep. Instead, you'll face something even more challenging. Whoa. Yeah, something's off with Victor. Flora's like losing her mind. Like, get me out of here. <laughs> Oh no, the roots are coming out of the ground? Turning on each other now. Cedric! <laughs> Harry, do something! Harry! Is Harry gonna leave him? Say giraffe. I thought you, you were gonna let it get me. For a moment, so did I. <laughs> Go on, take it. You saved me, take it. Uh, take yeah. it, you deserve it, Harry. Um, this is not back to the beginning of. That's weird. No, this is the beginning of the movie. And there's the creepy house thingy where Voldemort was before. <gasps> where are we? Graveyard. <gasps> Cedric, we have to get back to the cup. Now! What are you talking about? Get out right now. <gasps> there's Peter ah! Pettigrew. No! Ah! What is it? Get back to the cup! Ah! <laughs> Why does Voldemort look like an ugly fetus? <laughs> no! Patrick just died! Do it! Now! I'm so sad right now. Bone of the father unwillingly given. Bone of his father. Yes. So they're summoning Voldemort Servant. now. Willingly sacrificed. <laughs> Blood of the enemy. <laughs> uh, 
font chugler. Quelqu'un. Euh... No way. He looks really evil. Welcome, my friend, Lucius. I knew it! I knew that he, that he was like evil or something. I detected any sign or whisper of your whereabouts. There were signs, my slippery friend, and more than whispers. Oh, yeah, sure. uh, Such a handsome boy. Don't touch him! Hey! Oh, I'd almost forgotten you were here. <gasps> I can touch you. Ah, that's kind of weird, a little bit. Question my powers. After tonight, if they speak of you, they'll speak only of how you died. Begged for death. <sighs> Leave your eyes. <laughs> Let's do it, Harry. Let's go. Let's... You got this. Go, Harry, you do it. Harry, when the connection is broken, you must oh, get to the point. We can linger for a moment to give you some time, but only a moment. Do you understand? Yay! No! No! Let me know what's happened. He's back. He's back. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. It's all right, Harry. It's all right. That's my son. Aww. This is my boy. So sad. My boy! Someone had bewitched him. What was it like? What was he like? Who? <gasps> the Dark Lord. <gasps> How did he know that? What was it like? There are others. In the graveyard, were there others? Uh, um, the... That's really weird. Today, we acknowledge a really terrible loss. No. Frederick Diggory was, as you all know, exceptionally hard-working. You bewitched Crumb, but you, 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 you won because I made it so, Potter. You ended up in that graveyard tonight because it was meant to be so. And now the deed is done. Oh, no. When he learns that I have once and for all <gasps> silenced the great Harry Potter. <laughs> The Baron Plus Serum. Do you know who I am? Albus Dumbledore. Are you Alistair Moody? Are you? No. Is he in this room? Is he in this room? 
He's in a little box thing. Locked in there. You all right, Alistair? How did he even I'm get sorry, there, though? Alex. That's weird. That's moody, but then who's? <laughs> Junior, his tongue gave him away, and that's why he had to kill his dad. Now, I think, therefore, you have the right to know exactly how he died. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. Graveyard. There was a moment um, when Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. Hmm. Yeah, well, Probably Oliver Vander said that in the beginning. You saw your parents that night, didn't you? They reappeared. Yeah, but in Sorcerer's Stone, when Harry was getting his wand, Ollivander was, like, kind of freaking out a little bit because he said um, the, the wand that Harry um, got was the other phoenix tail, and... Uh, he only sold a, a wand, another wand that had the phoenix tail, and it was Voldemort's. So his wand and Voldemort's bro wand are brothers, so they have some sort of connection. And I thought, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in the first movie, when there was Professor Quirrell and the Lord Voldemort scene, was there was, um, he saw his parents that day, um, and kind of distracted him, right? I feel like? I don't know. I I I feel like we had some similar like interaction before when his parents reappeared from the dead. But I could be totally wrong. But no spell can reawaken the dead, Harry. I trust you know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong or something. Lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. <laughs> Ron's freaking out. <laughs> As Everything is going to change now, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Yeah. I think I their, right this their experience at Hogwarts can get That's actually more dangerous now. I won't. You know I won't. <laughs> Oh my goodness, everyone, that was so sick. It was like, they're keep up in their game here. Like, I don't know if Harry Potter can really top Goblet of Fire right now. I mean, there's still more movies to go, but that was insane. I uh, was not expecting it to be some sort of like tournament and like the schools from around the world are coming to Hogwarts um, to compete for the Triwizard Tournament and uh, having the cup and having whoever wins gets eternal glory. I mean, they kind of were hinting at that when they went to um, the World Quidditch Cup and they had the Irish and you saw Victor Crumb, uh, but then it led to kind of that. So you can kind of see a little bit of that. Uh, fortunately, no Hogwarts Quidditch um, scenes. Uh, unfortunately, I, I feel like they... I, I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that they may kind of shy away from all the the um, Hogwarts Quidditch scenes now, because things are going to get ramped up now. Uh, and this is like, I think, where the story is going to really uh, kick off. Um, and it definitely did. I think, you know, it's going to be more Voldemort scenes. Um, I actually really like Voldemort. Uh, like he's, they made him so evil and the actor plays it does such a good job um and when you think about Voldemort you're kind of thinking yeah that would look like him like he looks like a snake um and because he was part of Slytherin the hair of Salgar Slytherin uh so it makes sense that he would have an appearance of being kind of this like undead like gray looking snake feature and uh look about him and they did a, such a good job I, uh, and, um, his presence, you can just feel through the movie how, like, scary and, uh, powerful and dangerous he is, and I, I think that is awesome. Uh, some other things I can think about is, like I was saying before, 
um, when we had the beginning of the scene, when we saw that, like, really creepy house, and we saw that in Prisoner of Azkaban, and Hermione was like, yeah, like, that's, a like, an abandoned, like, creepy house thing. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing what she's saying. And, uh, and then we see it in, uh, Goblin of Fire, and it turns out, yes, that house is super sketchy. <laughs> Do not go there. Um, was Voldemort. And, uh, I got, I remember, like, in, uh, Sorcerer's Stone, like, I, like I was saying, um, that when, uh, Harry kind of defeated Voldemort and he kind of, um, like, kind of disappeared in a sense, um, and, like, left Professor Quirrell's body and obviously Professor Quirrell, I, I think, is dead after that incident, um, because he kind of melted, um, and he kind of shattered into a million pieces, uh, but then Voldemort kind of, like, left the body and he kind of, uh, like, disappeared for a bit and then, um, Dumbledore was like, yeah, oh, there's other ways where, you know, um, Voldemort can reappear. But then now he kind of, he reappeared as, like, this, like, really ugly-looking fetus thing. <laughs> and then, what do you know that the whole thing was set up, um, and the whole tournament was about, you know, um, at the very end was recreate and, uh, have this ritual and summon Lord Voldemort. Uh, but I'm kind of wondering about with Harry, how, like, since to summon him, they had to have Harry's blood. I, I want to know, I, I think there might be some sort of connection later on. Like, how does that work? You know, because, like, can, um, uh, Voldemort really kill Harry now? Because his blood is in him. So it's like, I don't know, there might, and with, like, magic, I, I don't know, like, I, I feel like, there could be some sort of connection now. Um, the visions that he's seeing, I don't, I'm starting to think that it's act, like obviously real events happening and he's watching from a third perspective. I don't think it's a vision at all. Um, cause sometimes visions don't like don't come true. So maybe, maybe it is a vision. I don't know. I would probably characterize it as like, he's actually part of the scene. Um, and it actually happened, um, like, in the now, because visions are kind of, like, they're happening in the future, but I think when he's, uh, when we see that vision, I think it's happening in that moment, that second, uh, it's, it's in the present, in the now, um, not in the future, uh, but I also think that, like, like, when I also, when I think about Wormtail, and uh, he's having, like, Voldemort, he, I was acting a bit weird, like, he, it seemed like he was under, like, the Cruciatus curse, or, like, the Imperius curse or something, and, because they were saying that a lot of people are doing Voldemort's biddings under those curses, they actually don't mean it, but then it's, like, some people, wizards are actually evil, and some of them are, um, are just under the spell, uh, and the guise of Voldemort, so they're trying to sift out between which one's real, which one's not real, um, and then Crouch's son was actually Mad-Eye Moody, and they were kind of giving, like, hints of it, and you can kind of tell that, uh, when we saw the vision of the past, uh, when we looked into that, I forget what that, um, that bowl thing was, uh, in Dumbledore's office, and we got to see, um, I'm so bad at names, but, uh, the guy that was in the the prison and coming from Azkaban, and this is like a while ago, and he was the headmaster of the the school that's on the boat, and and he was a Death Eater, and he maybe was on the, the influence under the curses, but he was like, yeah, um, Crouch's Junior is the problem, and uh, all this stuff, and then they got arrested in Azkaban, but then when. There was, like, hints of him doing that little, like, weird little, like, like kind of <laughs> thing uh, with his tongue. And, uh, uh, they kind of gave it more indication that, like, yeah, that's him. But we got the confirmation at the very end of the movie. But I, I had my suspicions, and I think everyone did. They're like, it might be him, might not be him. Uh, I like how, yeah, it was like a super good movie. I, it's okay. I feel bad for Harry because Harry's like always um, put into some sort of like really bad danger and 
but he always ends up, you know, winning and conquering and being a better wizard, and that's really great. But yeah, overall, such a good movie. I, I loved it. It was funny. It was a super intense moment. Harry Potter after game, once again, loved it. But yeah, this kind of just wraps up my reaction to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it, and I'll see everyone in the next video. Peace out. Bye.